You know, if you plant the seed to grow a plant, you kind of need to water it every couple of days. I'm not sure if you, some of the plants, I think you have to water them daily, I think. Mm. I'm excited today. What is up, familia? Today we are talking about faith. Faith in God, faith in Jesus, faith in the church, faith in the church teachings, but not in the way you would think. Now, just a quick thought, right? Just hear me out for a sec, right? Pushing towards this year, and I've always had the sense that this year or the year before, I'm gonna grow somehow more in knowledge of Christ and the church and everything in between. But sometimes I tend to forget that I'm doing the basic things for growing my faith. And then this week, we'll be going over three tips that you can do to grow your faith and knowledge on God and His church. Now, as we go through this video, just keep this verse in mind. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread also, which I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. And this verse is from John chapter six, verse 51. Now, prayer is the first place to start when taking this journey of growth and learning. Now, how do we put this in practice? When I say practice, yeah, we talk about practice, bro. Yes, yes, Alan Harrison. Yes, we're talking about practice, bro. I'm, I'm just saying. Now you can follow and do it the same way or do it a different way, but the whole point here is to pray. Uh, one of the simple ways that I do this is by praying two times within the day. One in the morning and one in the night. One as a prayer for Thanksgiving for another day and the other as a Thanksgiving for the entire day. Prayer that I normally say in the morning is the Lord's Prayer or if you don't know, the Our Father. Yeah, that's the name of the Our Father prayer. And I put a message, a simple message to God as my prayer. And that is my morning prayer and my night prayer. This will allow you to start refocusing your mind and consider God from the moment you wake up up until you go and rest for the next day. And what it does is that it encapsulates basically your entire day within prayer. So even if things do not go right, this allows you and your mind to change that perspective when you're looking at bad moments and good moments. The bad moments will not be as bad and the good moments are extra blessing. Now, prayer is real and you need to be conscious of your prayer and your disposition, your attitude and your mindset. So what I just mentioned is basically the minimum. So the more and more you do this every day, the more and more your faith will continue to grow. And if you don't believe me and believe how important prayer is, just look at the gospel and see how many times Jesus went to pray. See what I mean? This leads me to my second tip. Have you always wondered how certain people seem to know the verse of the Bible like they have it completely memorized? Well, one of the reasons could be that they just have an amazing memory. I, mean, I wish I had that memory because I have bad memory. Yes. And the other reason is that they just read the Bible. Yeah, they just read it. Bro, there's no tricks, there's no shortcuts. It's just straight time and dedication. They just dedicate, they say, I'm gonna read this and that's what are you gonna do? Now for this, I recommend you start with one of the books in the New Testament and you start from there and you go on. So I'll give you an example. So if you start at Matthew's Gospel, right? You read a chapter starting today, and then tomorrow you're gonna read chapter two, chapter three, and then so forth. And this will take you somewhere from 10 to 15 minutes at a minimum, depending on how fast you read. And here's another tip in regards to this second tip. If you feel inspired or confused or it does not make any sense or after reading one of the verses within the chapter okay not the entire cha chapter i'm talking about just one verse make sure you write that verse down if you want to write the entire verse out do it write it in a journal this will keep track of what you have read and it will be more helpful for you to go back and reference reading the gospel not only allows you to understand our faith more but it also gives context to a lot of the parts of the church sacraments some of the sunday gospel readings homilies some of the moments that everybody talks about if you go to retreat and so forth so allow yourself some time to apply this i should know i do not like reading books at all i don't like reading books but i read the bible and now that i think about it maybe I have some other book maybe i'm not giving myself too much credit I don't know. and on to the last tip 
This one will be a little bit more difficult to do every day. It's in regards to going to mass within the week. Now I get it. You already go to Sunday mass and you say to, you say to me, Edwin, that is too much for the week, too much. But consider how much time Sunday mass lasts for you or for me or for anybody else. Maybe one hour, maybe an hour and a half if the priest gives a long, long homily. And so how many hours are in the week? 24 times seven, 168. You see how I did that? Yeah, you see. But do not look at it from that point of view. Take this as having another opportunity to receive the Eucharist, receiving Christ in the Eucharist, and possibly removing yourself from a crazy week and spending that in peace. Again, I know how that feels. So go at this slowly at first, and then as you get more confident and you have more time, then add more days if you feel that you have that time available to you. Attending the Mass during the week is more difficult because of our schedules, but like with everything, if you set your mind to do it, is there anyone who can really stop you? I can say doing these three things are super helpful and they've been a total blessing. So I hope and pray that these tips can also help you and your faith grow. In question of the week, what book will you choose to start reading first from? Let me know in the comment section down below. And this week, I'm going to be linking you with Duran Design. Make sure you check out the link down below. Go and check out this catalog, apparel, and amazing artwork that is available. This is some of the artwork, so make sure you check it out. And think about it, if you put these, if you put this one up somewhere where you can go and pray and read the Bible, yeah, this, could, this could be very helpful. This could be very helpful. Hmm. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Also, hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video drops. Make sure you stay tuned in to next week's video. And, and, I, lo I always love doing that. Like always, stay blessed. God bless. Stay blessed. Yeah, I think I hurt myself. <laughs> I, I went to the I went to the gym and I think I did the exercise the wrong way and now this up here hurts. Your neck? My neck. No, not my neck. Not my traps. My traps. Not my neck. Not my neck. My neck don't hurt. Yeah, I need that. I need that. It's kind of a bittersweet moment. I sent them my first gimbal back. So I was like, <laughs> ah, it's crying. They made it an ugly face there, but anyways. Yo, his production, his quality is amazing, man. Peter McKinnon, yo. If we ever get to that type of quality, oh.